There are seven things that I changed over the past two years that made a big difference. Welcome to the Unpavement. I'm Jeremy McGee, and I'm a paraplegic. Woohoo! I've got a sweet mountain bike that gets me out on the trail, but I've gotten into trouble with it out there. Ah! Ah! So I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. Hopefully you're informed. I'm gonna share with all you crybabies out there how to install a cush core. Entertain. Touch cans, not hands. <laughs> and inspire. This is where the magic happens. Since it's been exactly two years since my first video, I thought it would be good to do sort of a kind of tribute to the decisions and changes I've made over those two years that really upped the quality of the videos. The stunning cinematic quality that you enjoy today. All right, this is what you guys were asking for. I'm documenting my ride experiences on my YouTube channel. I have my lovely assistant Christina with me here today filming with her iPhone 10. Say hi. Hi. The seven big changes that made me a big boy. Number one, mounting position of the camera. A lot of helmets these days come with a helmet mount for a camera and it's super easy to just mount your camera there and go ride. That's a big no-no. Look at my old videos compared to my new videos. See this viewpoint from on top of my head compared to where I have it now? That's a big difference. So I moved the camera from my helmet to my chest pad tube, which would be the equivalent of a two-wheel rider with a chesty mount or with a chin mount on their uh, face bar on their helmet. Either one of those is a way better position than up on top of your helmet. Why is that though? Why does mounting the camera this way make such a big difference? The closer you are to the action, the faster it looks. And when your camera is up on your head, it doesn't look as fast as your camera mounted lower, closer to the ground, watching all the scenery blast by as you just send it. Plus, it's really nice to have your handlebar on the shot. It just looks better. That was the first thing I changed that made a big difference. The number two change that made a big difference was my camera. Now, when I started the channel, I was using a Rilo 360 camera for its stabilization. I did a lot of shooting in 360, which is cool, but definitely does not look cinematic. The 360 camera, even though I was shooting in 180 mode, just looked funny. When the GoPro Hero 7 came out with their new stabilization, I got the camera right away, and that switch from the Rilo to the GoPro made a big difference in the quality of my videos. Camera is rolling. 4K, 30 frames per second. Yeah. Now I'm listing these changes in chronological order. This is the order that I actually made these decisions. So I moved the camera from my helmet to basically my chest, got the GoPro, and then I started using music other than the standard jingles that come with the editing software. I'm sitting here looking at the lake and I didn't realize that Bloody Cool Water is right there. I've been chasing mountains I can't climb 
Hi everyone. I used to use iMovie and I just used the jingles in there, but then I subscribed to a service called Soundstripe and started using their music. It's a library of all kinds of stuff. Also, if you want to monetize anytime in the future, it's real important to use music that you have rights to now. Okay, maybe you're not monetized now, but maybe in the future, you're big enough where you can monetize your videos. That's where we all hope to be. So you become a YouTube partner, you start monetizing your videos. Well, if someone watches any of your past videos, they're not gonna be monetized if you're using music that you don't have the rights to. So just start now, subscribe to Soundstripe, there's a link in the caption for you. Start using music that's gonna set you up for success in the future. It will also make a big difference in the quality of your videos. Number four is I had a professional logo designed by an artist. That bike logo you see, it brings legitimacy to your brand. Brand awareness is really important. So when people see your logo, they think of you. Also, it makes things uniform across everything. All your social media channels, your websites, your e emails. When people see your logo, they think of you. It's real important and makes things look a lot better. That's number four, getting a professional logo design. Number five probably created the biggest jump in quality of all these changes. And that was switching from iMovie to Final Cut. It is amazing what you can do in Final Cut compared to iMovie. I'm gonna share with all you crybabies out there how to install a Kush core from a wheelchair. Now, you might not be a Mac person, so you might use Adobe Premiere or there's, a, what's the other one? I can't think of it right now. If you want to up your quality, up your video software. After I switched to Final Cut, the sixth thing I did was starting to shoot in flat settings and colorizing my footage in post. This makes a really big difference in the cinematic quality because if you're using the automatic settings, it's not gonna look right, especially with mountain biking. When you're coming in and out of the trees and light is changing, the camera thinks it knows what it's doing, but it doesn't. It looks bad. GoPro color is okay, but in my opinion is a little too much. I look at it, I'm like, ah, it feels like someone is trying too hard. If I'm watching someone's video, you can kind of tell if they're using the automatic GoPro color because it's just very contrasty and does not look like real life. It's, it's just kind of a color blast. And I don't like, I don't like it. So don't use any of the automatic settings, shoot everything flat, colorize your videos in post. Number seven, and the final step I took in upping the quality of my videos was actually paying attention to the sound. I would just pull in music clips and not adjust them. And I've got this voice that is kind of piercing. Doesn't it sound soothing to you right now? Well, that's cause I took the sound way down and fixed the levels and made sure the sound waveforms are even across the board. I started using a microphone. It's not hard either. It's kind of like common sense. You just put on some headphones, make sure it sounds okay, make sure the levels are even across, and make sure they're not getting into the red, maybe into the yellow a little bit on just a couple points, but are nice and even and smooth. Take out any background noise, adjust it, spend a little time. You don't cringe when you watch my videos now. So that was kind of cool, huh? We just went over seven things that I'm excited about that really up the quality of my videos over the past two years. And they were 
the mounting position of my camera, the camera I was using, switch from the Rilo to the GoPro. I subscribed to Soundstripe and started using music other than the standard jingles of the editing software. I paid for a professional logo to be made. I switched from iMovie to Final Cut Pro. I started shooting in flat settings and colorizing my footage in post. And just started paying attention to the sound. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I've been wanting to do this video for a long time, so hopefully you liked it. If you want to help out this channel, there's a link to become a patron. Is it patron or patron? I like patron because it's Patreon. It's through Patreon, patron. I'm just going to say patron because it sounds like Voltron. Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. I now have five patrons. You guys know who you are. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. See you guys next week. I don't know what else to say. I can't remember. Was there anything else I need to say? Uh, uh, I'm just going to quit. Hey, puppy. <laughs> are you strong? You need some help? Sure. I kind of do. All right, man. There you go. So, oh, it's one of these. Look this beautiful shade. This little tree is giving us. I'm going to have some of my Honey Stinger Energy Chews. Caffeine from white tea. Actually, really good. Oh my god. Hello. That thing is so cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.